Good morning students. Today we are going to study about one of the delicious fruit. All of us have heard about it and most of us have seen it and tasted it also. Do you have any guesses what I am going to teach today? Don't worry. Just observe the picture and guess. Can you tell me which common ingredient is used in all these food items? Yes, you are right. That is strawberry. All these products are made with the use of common ingredient that is strawberry. So today we are going to study about strawberries. So let us learn something about this delicious fruit in an interesting manner. Now we have a beautiful poem about strawberries. Strawberries that in gardens grow are plump and juicy fine. But sweeter far as wise men know. Spring from the woodland vine. No need for bowl or silver spoon, sugar or spice or cream. Has the wild berry plucked in June beside the trickling stream? Here we are going to see the explanation of this poem one by one. In this poem, a poet is making a comparison between the strawberries grown in garden and strawberries grown in the woodland near the stream. Let's have a look on first stanza of the poem. Strawberries that in gardens grow are plump and juicy fine, but sweeter far as wise men know spring from the woodland vine. Here you can see the picture of strawberry garden. The poet tells us that the strawberries grown in gardens are plump and juicy. Plump means in this poem round shape, big or fat. Yes, you can see the picture of strawberries. It is in rounded shape and it is plump. But along with that, poet also tells us that the wise man means scholar person who knows that even the strawberries which grown in woodland. What is the meaning of woodland? Woodland means land with lot of trees. Land with lot of trees. That the scholar man knows. Strawberries grown in woodland are also very tastier. And what is the meaning of vine? Vine means plant that grows up or over things. Example, you can see the creeper of grapes. We will get these strawberries during spring season which is pleasant to us. Now in the second stanza, no need for bowl or silver spoon, sugar or spice or cream. Has the wild berry plucked in June beside the trickling stream? Here in the second stanza, poet tells us that the strawberry is very simple fruit. Like other fruits, we don't need any bowl or silver spoon. Cut it, put it and eat it. It also tells us it is so sweet and delicious that not necessary to add sugar, spice or cream because it is already tastier. Now, wild berries are usually cultivated 
Beside the trickling stream. What is the meaning of trickling stream? Trickling stream means slowly flowing stream. Here you can see the picture of trickling. Sorry, trickling stream. And these wild strawberries are get plucked. Plucked means removed. Plucked off in the month of June. Here in this picture you can see the uh, pick that people used to pluck the strawberries from the strawberry plant. Because in the month of June these strawberries are much sweeter and completely ripen. Hence it can be eaten directly from the plant. Got it students? Today we have studied more about strawberries. Students, please read and recite the poem once again and copy it in your English notebook. Thank you.